Hey everybody, it's Rover Gamer. Welcome to a new Let's Play of Jade Empire. Like I said in the uh, little selection video I made a while back, uh, some of you may remember that I did a started a blind Let's Play of this game. Uh, it was like a couple years ago or something like that, and I stopped due to lack of interest. Um, on my own time, I decided to uh, give it a chance, like huh, maybe I'll, I'll like it better if I'm not pressured into like having to edit the videos and all that. And I ended up loving the game. This is a really great. Uh, hidden gem in the Bioware collection that a lot of people don't talk about much. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started. New game. The first thing we have to do here is pick our character. There are uh, seven characters, uh, four guys and three girls. In the original game, there are only three of each, um, but they actually added a... Uh, this is the PC version. It's like special edition. And they added a uh, Monk Zhang as a bonus character for the special edition. Um, also, I need to uh, go over one point. Uh, I'm not going to be quite as familiar with this game, because I played it originally on the Xbox 360 uh, as a digital download of an, the Xbox game. Um, so there was... I got used to the, uh, using the controller rather than the master keyboard, and uh, um, there are also some emulation issues, like missing textures and that kind of thing. And the special edition also might have some additional content, like new styles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I might look into that a little bit later, just so I can be more informative, but uh, for the time being... Um, this is just, I'm just going to have to learn as I go, I guess. Let's see. Um, one thing I should, no I should note is if you hit accept, you can just have this pre-built character. And that's where this character type and starting styles are important. Otherwise, uh, if you hit custom, it's really just how your character looks. I believe the first time I played, I was using uh, this guy, Lou the Prodigy. Uh, I want to use somebody else this time, though. Um, the only other male character I really like is this guy. He's also, I think, the character on the box art. So let's go with him. Custom. Now, a uh, brief explanation here. Body, I mean, it's kind of obvious right here. Body has to do with your health, spirit has to do with chi, and mind has to do with focus. Health is obvious, how much health you have. If it's zero, you die, etc., etc. That chi is like your mana for uh, for healing, going to like a special chi stance to, where you do increased damage, and uh, some special like <coughs> magic styles that you can unlock later. Uh, focus is used mostly for uh, weapon styles, like you every strike with a weapon. Um, it drains your focus, but weapons are also really powerful to compensate for that. And there's also a special mode that I'll show off later, um, where you can slow time that uh, drains your focus as you're using it. So I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not really sure how I'm going to build my character, is I'm going to go balanced and maybe put a little bit extra into focus. Yeah, that seems good. I'm going to accept, and uh, now we get to choose our uh, martial style. Heavenly Wave is a support style that you get no matter what. And the music stopped. I'm sure it'll come back. Um, <clears throat> support style, I'll get more into that later. I don't want to get too in-depth. Um, you have a choice between four martial styles. You can unlock all these later in the game. You can buy them from a certain merchant. But this is what you start with the game. So you want to make sure you pick one that you like. The first time I played I played with Leaping Tiger, which is a balanced style. And a lot of people say it's probably the best one as well. Uh, for various reasons, you basically get to strike with a, like Tiger Claws that basically become Wolverine. Though I'm not sure if those claws are actually supposed to physically be there or if it's just like a representation of... Like uh, your character's chi or something like that. A thousand cuts is the the lo low damage, high speed um, ability uh, martial style. I personally don't like it very much because um, it's very short range and uh, I don't know. It just doesn't do much damage for me. White demon is the opposite of the spectrum where it's very heavy, very slow, but also very damaging. Like the most powerful style uh, in terms of like damage per hit. This one's supposed to be pretty good too, but it's also not very flashy. Like it's, it's kind of uh, the moves are very basic and. Um, I thought about using this one, but I kind of wanted to go with Legendary Strike, which is the other um, balance style, which focuses a lot on kicks. Um, so, I mean, like I said, Leaving Tiger, if it's your first time playing, this is a great style, and I would highly recommend it for a first time playing through. But since this is not my first time, I'm going to go with something a little bit different, um, which Le Legendary Strike, which is also really good. I'll just say that uh, there's no really, really reason to pick Legendary Strike over Leaving Tiger, but it's more of a personal preference thing, so I'm going to go with that. Let's do that. Accept. And now we're going to type our character's name in. And uh, I don't really want to use my game, my name because uh, this, this uh, game is set in a uh, in a, an era, a fictional uh, country that's inspired by uh, China. Or like, at least, um, you know, um, yeah, it's supposed to be like, like China, basically. So I want to have a more fitting name, so like an Asian name. And, uh, hmm. Uh, give me some thought. I kind of just want to go with the name Hero. 
I think it's because I recently rewatched the show Heroes, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, next month when Heroes Reborn is going to play. Hopefully it's good. So yeah, we're going to name him Hero, or Hito, if you want to pronounce it right. Alright, this is our character, Hito, <clears throat> with uh, three points in body and spirit, four points in mind, uh, with Legendary Strike and Heavenly Wave. Again, we'll get more into what those do uh, as we learn how to fight. I say accept and begin. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Hmm, I could blame for myself. I'm at even the odds. <laughs> for all that, he's trained you to be the best of us. You're not Master Lee yet. I would welcome another match with you, though. Let's say one more before we break for the day. I'm really beaten, friend. Let us begin. Okay, now we're going to the tutorial. This will be helpful for me to l remember the controls on the, on the key mouse and keyboard. So, mouse one to attack. It's just click. That's a uh, legendary strike. I kind of like how, like how it looks. So, go up to him and just kick a little bit. Do the combos. And now he uses healing. I was saying, still hold on space to block basic attacks. Okay. Alright, there we go. Get hit. Uh, hold on, left shift to heal. All right. Very good. And right, when they block, you can use mouse two to use a power attack. Very cool. Now hold move a key while pressing the block button to evade powerful attacks, like this. Now we just fight him. I believe you click both buttons, it's also an a a AoE attack for when you're fighting. It doesn't do like hardly any damage if it does any at all, but it's, it's meant for uh, um, like fighting groups of enemies. Gotcha. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. <clears throat> Thank you for the bout. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Uh, where is he again? Master Lee just went into his house. Oh, okay. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Okay, chapter one. We're in a Master Foretells of Doom, Rival Challenges for Station, and the past taunts the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of two rivers. Master Lee promises that you'll soon you will know more about your, how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest in shadowy assassins, who heed no law. Okay. Now we can run around, we can talk to some people. Oh, excuse me, they want to spar. This game's actually really impressive for its time. It was... I don't remember what year, I'm going to have to look at that. Maybe I'll... If I remember, I'll... Uh, you'll see it right here on the screen. Um, but and it was an originally, originally released on the Xbox, so that gives you some fra like time frame. Uh, let's talk to Smiling Mountain. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Okay, so this guy lets you spar with other students if you just want to practice the fighting system a little bit. Um, and he, can also, he also does uh, sells items and additional training, but I don't think he really has the money for that. So I'm going to go for now. 
Goodbye. Uh, anyone else I want to talk to? Oh, one thing you should do is you should always check these little uh, <coughs> book stands. You don't necessarily have to read them. I'll you, I'm not going to read these myself, but I'll leave it for a minute so you guys can pause the video if you want to read it. Um, <coughs> but you get experience for each one you read, so it's good to, even if you don't want to read them, you can check them out. Oh, this is important, actually, harmonic combinations. Um, <coughs> this has to do with like the support style I was talking about. This will actually be a... Uh, <coughs> you can read it yourself, but I'll explain it once we get to a point where it's useful to know. So some of these scrolls and uh, book stands actually have useful information, so it's good to check out, check them out. It talks about Thofan, which is like a foreign language that they speak here. Typical. What's your problem? Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. I know, I was holding up, up your training. I would have come sooner. Really? You would have dropped everything to make way for me. I don't think so. You're far too important to waste time with worrying about my education. Master Lee certainly considers your training important enough to shove all others aside, so why shouldn't I bow down to your grace? Why is there in this belligerence? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal looking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Try Lin. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simple little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. That's Gal's lesser. Uh, funny fact, he's actually voiced by the uh, by Nathan Fillion. Some of you may know him from <clears throat> know that guy from uh, um, the show Firefly, where he uh, played the uh, Captain Malcolm Reynolds. Well, my days are not taking you seriously. They're certainly coming to a middle. Uh, okay. All right, this is, that's also kind of important to the story too, but it'll be talked about uh, later. So, what's in here? Well, I guess something about Marshall Styles. Oh, it's another, uh, more information. Again, you guys can read that if you want to. I don't really want waste to waste time for people who aren't interested. Let's go in. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil. Though you came to me an orphan, I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? My future? Perhaps I'll train others as you train me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that, as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. I'm sure. I don't know. How would I feel if uh, someone's keeping a secret from me? I guess for someone like <clears throat> like a master like this, I trust he had a good reason for it. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. That's true. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. 
Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. <clears throat> I'll fight then. Let me come with you. You will have your chance to fight soon enough. Go to Gu Jin, the Weapon Master. He has a weapon for you, and you will have need of it before long. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Okay. Very well. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Okay, now we've got a little mini-map so we can see where we're going. We also expand it or just turn it off completely if we don't want it to be there. Oh, there we go. I was just playing with the keyboard, seeing what buttons did, and uh, the focus mode is that slows time, but also drains, um, and drains your uh, focus meter. And uh, you just press F to activate it here. I don't know if it actually makes you run faster or if it's just like it looks like you're running faster, so. I don't really know. Anyways, this is where we want to go. Out the school gate. This thing is really pretty for its time. I mean, obviously it shows its age, but... What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. Sounds like Dunstar would like you to leave, Gao. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. I don't like seeing you upset. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. <coughs> what do you want? What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? <coughs> you know, the bandits especially said to get a weapon from Guchen. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Mm, no. I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. I'm sure nothing's going to happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but not even Master Lee knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. 
I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. Please don't put me on a pedestal. I don't stand beside my friends. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. So let's go together. Use the company. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Alright, we have our first follower. Uh, what's cool about this is that you can actually go into the menu. There's a lot of uh, stuff here. I don't want to waste time explaining everything, but let's see, where's the follower page? Oh, there we are. You can tell your followers to either <coughs> attack or support. If you have to have an attack, they'll just fight alongside you. As a second uh, person, if you have support, each character has, uh, as you unlock here, has a different support style. Um, <coughs> with uh, Dawnstar, for example, she recovers your chi, so if you use a lot of that, it might be useful for her to uh, be in support stance instead. In support stance, the enemy. only problem is that when you're in support stance, you have to deal with all the enemies on your own, since the uh, character will stay off to the side and won't actually uh, fight with you. So it can be a bit risky sometimes. Um, it, there's a lot of enemies. Because at the very least, they can serve as distractions. You don't have to fight everyone at once. You just scroll on the inner self. Again, feel free to pause it if you want to read it. Here's a spirit font. This is restore rest rest all your health and your... Uh, <coughs> all your health and chi. So those are useful to ha have around. If you happen to be low on... Anything like that. And here's a focus shrine. This is the same for focus. Right, let's move on. Okay, let's move forward. <clears throat> 